the Israelites in Egypt. All of Jacob's sons went to live in Egypt. They took their wives and children with them. There were seventy people. Joseph and his brothers and their families died. But all their children had children. There were lots and lots of Israelites. They lived in Egypt. One day a new king called Pharaoh came to rule Egypt. He did not remember Joseph. He was afraid of the Israelites. There were lots and lots of them. He thought they were enemies. So the Egyptians made the Israelites work hard. They did not give them any money. They were unkind to them. They tried to kill all the baby boys. But the Israelites trusted God. God helped them. Moses is born. One day an Israelite lady had a little baby boy. He was a lovely baby. She hid him for three months. Then she put him in a basket. She put the basket by the river Nile. Her sister watched to see what happened. The king of Egypt's daughter came to the river. She heard the baby crying. She knew it was an Israelite baby. She asked an Israelite woman to look after him. It was the baby's mother. The king's daughter paid her to look after the baby. The baby was called Moses. Moses runs away. Moses grew up in the king of Egypt's palace. One day he went to watch the Israelites working. He saw an Egyptian hitting an Israelite. Moses hit the Egyptian and killed him. Moses was afraid. Pharaoh the king heard about it. He tried to kill Moses. But Moses ran away to Midian. Moses sat to rest by a well. Soon the daughters of a priest came there. They were going to give water to their sheep. Some shepherds chased them away. Moses helped the girls. He gave their sheep water from the well. The girls went back to their father. They told him how Moses helped them. They thought he was an Egyptian. The girl's father was very pleased. He asked Moses to live with them. So Moses went to live with them. He married one of the girls called Zipporah. They had a son called Gershom. After a long time the king of Egypt died. The Israelites were very unhappy in Egypt. They cried to God for help. God heard them. He remembered his promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He still cared for the Israelites. Moses and the Burning Bush One day Moses was looking after his sheep. He led the sheep to a place called Horeb. Horeb was the mountain of God. An angel from God came to Moses there. The angel was in a burning bush. But the bush did not burn up. Moses went to the bush. Then God called, Moses, Moses. Moses said, I'm here. God said, Do not come near. Take your shoes off. This is holy ground. I am the God of your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses was afraid to look at God. He hid his face. Then God said to Moses, My people the Israelites are unhappy in Egypt. I will save them for the Egyptians. I will give them a new and good country to live in. I want you to go to King Pharaoh. Tell him to let my people go. Moses was afraid to do this. But God said he was with him. God promised to help him. Moses worshipped God there on Mount Horeb. 
God said to Moses, Tell the Israelites that God has sent you to help them. I will keep my promise. I will give them to a good country. Then go with the leaders of the Israelites. Go to the king of Egypt. Tell him to let you go. I will show the Egyptians that I am God. Moses goes back to Egypt. God chooses Moses to help him. God chose Moses to help him save the Israelites. God gave Moses three signs to show he was with him. God said they would show the Egyptians that God was with Moses and the Israelites. First he turned Moses' staff into a snake. He told Moses to pick the snake up by the tail. Moses did what God said. And the snake turned into a staff again. Then God told Moses to put his hand inside his coat. Moses did what God said. His hand withered. He put inside his coat again. God made his hand better again. For the third sign, God told Moses to take some water from the river and pour it on the ground. The water turned into blood. These were the three signs God gave to Moses to show that he was with him. But Moses said he was not good at talking. God said, I gave you your mouth. I will tell you what to say. But Moses said, Please send someone else. God was cross with Moses, but he said, All right. Your brother Aaron can speak for you. Tell him what to say. I will help you both. I will tell you what to do. But you must take the staff. Moses asked Jethro his father-in-law to let him go back to his own people in Egypt. He wanted to see if they were all right. Jethro said Moses could go. Moses took all his family with him. He took his staff with him. God told Moses to meet Aaron at Mount Horeb. Moses told Aaron all that God told him. They told the leaders of the Israelites. The leaders heard and saw the signs. They believed. They knew God was caring for them. God knew how unhappy they were. They God told them to show Pharaoh the three signs.